Okay, for this session, you're going to learn how to use interactive whiteboard software to write on an interactive whiteboard or a projector that we've got here at school. A lot of teachers have said that they want a PD on being able to use some sort of software in order to be able to capture their notes that they write in class so that they could send to their students. This is really simple and one of probably the easiest programs that I've been able to find and to be able to use, which is similar to Active Inspire, which a lot of people do know about, is a program called Open Sincore. This is a free and open source interactive whiteboard software um, that, that you'll be able to download, whether it's PC or Mac, and use on, on the projectors. It's also fairly basic. It's by no means um, anything fantastic that you're going to be able to use, sort of use really in-depth applications, but for the average user, I found it to be absolutely fantastic. Anyway, so once you've downloaded it, uh, launch your program, Open Sancore, and your screen should look something like this. It's basically standard feature is a graph paper background, and you can see this tool palette on the left-hand side here. Um, it's got a fairly limited palette, but really, for the purpose of capturing notes and so on in class, I find it to be absolutely perfect, particularly for when I'm doing drawings and so on in class. As you can see on the left-hand side here, there is a pen, an eraser, um, there's a highlighter, a selection tool, um, something that allows you to interact with items, a zoom in, a zoom out, and the ability to write text. So let's just say I click on this. I'm going to say um, create a new document and you can see it's put the text in there if I want to stretch it out I have to move that bar there on the side so in order to move your items around the page you have to use the selection tool um, and then really what most people would be doing in class is once their board is actually connected to their computer they'll be using this thing here the pen tool in order to write whatever they're writing on the board. Now, I'm not connected to the board now, so obviously I can't write as neat as I would with the pen, but it gives you an indication of what it might look like. I'm just going to erase that now, after I had pressed that eraser, but you can see it gives you a couple of options. There's a small eraser, a medium eraser, and a large. At the moment, it's on the large. But when I was writing also, I can write with a large pen or a small pen, at the moment, I've got it set at green because I think that's the last one that I was using. Let's go to red, and I'll actually make it a little bit thicker. So, thick. So there you go. If I want to have some thin lines, I can do that also. You can adjust these um, in your preferences also. I'm not going to go into that now. That can be another video that we watch. But I think the most important th um, thing we need to do now is that let's just say that I was happy with these notes and this is what I've taken in class and I want to save that. The good news is that this does it for you automatically. You don't even need to save. Um, you can go into your documents up here and you can see that here is the document that I just created there which is under Untitled and it gives you the date and the time that you created it. So you don't even have to name this um, document. If you do then want to export it as a PDF or something like that, you can do that. You go to export and as you can see there, export PDF and then that will allow you to put it up onto something such as Google Docs where the stu students will be able to read it. Alright, so I'm going to just go back into this document and I'm going to um, uh, finish off there. Hope that's been a, a good little intro for you into using this Open Sancore. The next sort of uh, video I think what I might do is look at how you would interact with a web page when you're using Open Sancore. Hope you enjoy using it.